Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Capricorn. So July is about a deep reckoning and a release of emotional pain and thought patterns that have kept you stuck or stagnant in some particular way. And it signals you experiencing a really deep sacral chakra cleanse this month, right? Through you proactively being courageous enough to be vulnerable and transform deep pain that you tucked away, but maybe never really healed until this point in your life. And that enabling you to finally get to a point of healing and empowerment, able to accept and wear your scars, your imperfections and any pain proudly, right? As integral to the works of art you create and as integral to the work of art that you are okay if you look at the cards here your overall energy is this queen of wands and then the surrender and acceptance cards here in reverse and then this change right and that is where i'm getting you know that this month really is a month for a sacral chakra a sacral chakra deep cleanse that really empowers you right it has the potential to really empower you and if you have not been proactive in this the divine is suggesting that you engage right in rituals and deep healing activities to really heal the sacral chakra because it is this space that holds you know all of the deep emotional trauma and it could be the source of any physical health issues, right? We have a lot of activity in your eighth house that is connected to health, trauma, um, and deep healing and, and transformation, as is also connected to, um, you know, sexuality, right? And sexual awakening and spiritual awakening as well. And I'm getting that, you know, both all of these things are happening for the Capricorn Collective, right? Um, where in many ways, you know, this journey of healing is about you sort of being able to reconcile all of the good with all of the bad, right? The deep pain and the deep love, you know, um, that is happening in your life, right? And where you know, this sort of release of some deep pain from the past and reconciliation of some deep pain from the past really ultimately helps you to be more present um, and find contentment and happiness with all of the good that is happening in your life, right? So connected to all of this eighth house activity, right? Some of you may have had serious health conditions or even operations recently or a woman that you're close to um, and some experience that was very emotional and scary for you. You know, with Mercury through the eighth house, this could also be dealing with health insurance, medical bills, um, you sort of processing deep trauma and pain um, through writing, right? Through your creative literary arts or uh, just creative abilities. Um, and, you know, this is also related to the June uh, Gemini New Moon reading that I did for you all. You should definitely check it out. Um, the main sort of energy that came through in that reading was this hangman card. And I pulled the Ten of Cups and the Hangman as these cards related to the past energy, right? So it's showing up here again, indicating that this Hangman energy is the energy that you are walking out of into July. Um, and in that message, it was absolutely related to uh, contending with detours, decisions, being at a crossroads, right? Um, and being forced to examine any issues of health, any control issues, and also emotional detachment from um, certain relationships, memories, group expectations, and even certain desires for acceptance, right? And so all of that stuff is still contending. <laughs> You're still sort of contending with um, but I think this month really offers a sort of breakthrough. And if not, um, you know, the divine is sort of uh, urging you to do what you can to sort of will this 
deep purge and entra- and transformation along for you, right? To be empowered in that because ultimately it will lead to your empowerment because we have the Ten of Pentacles card that is showing up here for you, but it's showing up here in the challenge, right? So again, it's about this dichotomy, right? This These poles of incredible things, but also deep, painful things, right? And just making peace, right? And so for some of you, this is about deep pain from the deep past that you just never got emotional closure from, losing someone that you loved very much. For some of you, this is maybe the loss of a baby. Some of you, this is experiencing physical harm or all sorts of trauma could apply here, right? That again is resurfacing and asking for um, some deep processing and release. And the Ten of Pentacles as a challenge, again, is about reckoning with how no amount of money or achievement or even acceptance can fill the voids or heal certain wounds, right? And it's about how only deep acceptance and radical honesty and emotional purging you know, will be the things that enables you to truly enjoy your success and abundance and the happiness and and the love that actually is available to you. Um, For some of you, um, you know, this Queen of Wands is about how you couldn't blossom where you were planted, you know, um, or even someone who you lost, right? They couldn't blossom where they were planted, um, and you're having to contend with that loss, right? It's about releasing the past. And the Queen of Wands here is about, you know, spiritual practices to detox your mind, body, and spirit. Um, for some of you who um, have, you know, feminine reproductive organs, it's like uh, yoni steams um, and herbs, herbal healing, um, different things that can help you to clear out, you know, the sacral and the uh, root chakras could be really helpful for you. I'm getting, um, also pay attention to your cycles because they are telling you something. If they've been really painful, they are absolutely telling you something about, um, how all of this, how, how like, painful emotions are impacting your sort of physical health, right? Any deep pain or, or issues that you are experiencing related to um, maybe your menstrual cycles or, or anything like that, um, they're about something related to deep emotional pain and trauma connected to your relationship with a deep with a feminine or with your own femininity, right? Something. Um, but again, the when I did your your reading, right? When I first did your read, I re- I recorded. I did all of these in June. Um, but I had to. I remember specifically. I had to cleanse the energy after pulling your cards, like before even getting deep into it. Like it was just. I had to stop, I had to cleanse the energy and I had to take a break because the energy was just so stagnant. It was so heavy. It was so weighed down and I, and it was just so dark. (laughs) Right. Um, and so again, the queen of wands showing up here is about what it means to transmute and transform that energy, right? To be, and how it can empower you, right? The Queen of Wands is a powerful artist. She's a healer. She heals herself and others through the ways that she transmutes her pain and turns it into art. This could be you all. This could be someone that you lost, even, right? Um, This relationship that you are mourning, someone who brought these kinds of energies into your life even, right? I'm getting so many different scenarios here, but um, you will know what it means for you. But in general, right, there's just this overall message here. The advice, right, is to release the past. This will be a month of releasing the past and, you know, um, release the past and any unhealthy habits and attachments as well. And, um, you know, there was also this message that came through that said, you know, mindset determines how change is experienced as is 
as adventurous bliss or burden. And there's just overall this question of what can you do to heal your heart? That's what you're being faced with this month, right? So that you can enjoy this sort of Ten of Pentacles that is uh, available to you, that is happening for you, right? Um, for some of you, this is about uh, maybe monetary challenges or limitations related to any sort of health issues, health procedures, medical bills, insurance, or things like that, that you are uh, having to contend with as well. And maybe it um, presenting this sort of conundrum for you in terms of certain things that you may have to sacrifice in order to uh, pay for any sort of health or medical um, sort of bills or, or whatever that you may have, right? So I'm going to wrap up your reading by reading the sacrifice card and also your angel number messages that came through for you. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm also getting, you know, I mentioned, you know, herbs and all of these things, but this surrender card here absolutely looks like a, it looks like a cell. It also looks like an embryo, right? And so there is absolutely, I'm coming back around to this message about what it is that you can do to help facilitate this sort of like purge of like your physical and also your emotional and your energy bodies absolutely look into um diets and herbal remedies that are helpful and related to cleansing at a cellular level all right your sign is in opposition to the sign of cancer and cancer is all about nutrition and deep healing um so just going to reiterate that I'm getting the message to reiterate that okay take a look at diet all right so your angel number messages that came through were the angel numbers 533 and also 544 okay so 533 is this number that is related to release and surrender wow freedom progress and motivation versatility and adaptability courage and making positive life choices five is that number of taking chances and major life changes while three relates to creativity personal charisma community and sociability expansion and growth joy and optimism manifesting and manifestation okay and communication and self-expression and angel number 533 is a powerful indication of important life changes occurring in your life and about to occur. All right. These changes have come about due to your positive attitude and intentions to better your life on all levels. These changes may initially seem challenging, but rest assured that they are necessary and will be most beneficial in the long term. Better is on its way into your life. Trust your intuition and inner wisdom and allow your angels and ascended masters and ancestors to aid, assist, and support you through these transitions. Angel number 533 tells you to rely upon your communication skills, creative talents, and natural adaptability abilities and allow yourself to keep an open mind and heart as to the changes taking place in your life. And I also so I'm getting as to the changes that have taken place in your life right up until now. Trust that your highest ideals and desires may manifest. You are receiving divine guidance as to your upcoming life changes and know that they will be of long term benefit and are in alignment with your soul mission. Assist and inspire humanity via your natural light working abilities and be an inspirational guiding light. 544 is about encouraging us to be true to ourselves and to live our lives accordingly. Five is about personal freedom, making positive life choices and important changes, right? Learning life lessons. While number four is about working determinately towards achieving goals and aspirations and building solid foundations. It's about hard work and effort, stability and practicality, system and order, and honesty and integrity. 
544 brings a message to view yourself in a higher light as your true self. Put your efforts towards the things in your life that embrace and enhance who you truly are, your lifestyle choices, and your life in general. Be prepared to make necessary changes that will bring auspicious opportunities to advance you along your path. And trust that these changes will bring better into your life in all aspects. The angels are assisting with boosting your self-esteem and self-belief at this time. Acknowledge the determination, discipline, and hard work you have put towards your endeavors and know that they will have long-term benefit. You have worked steadily and consistently towards your goals and aspirations, and the angels encourage you to keep up the great work you have been doing. Stay grounded and focused, safe in the knowledge that you are supported and surrounded along your life path by the beings of the higher realms. Have faith that much happiness and personal satisfaction is on its way and that any projects will succeed and your goals will be attained. All right, dear Capricorns, this is all about Saturn being in your third house of creativity and it's retrograde and it's asking you to look to the past, to pull through, to Pull through some inspiration that is going to be powerful for your projects. And Pluto is back in your sign, honey girl. It's back in your sign and it's forcing this transformation for your empowerment as well. <laughs> so Capricorns, like this video if you are watching on YouTube, which I absolutely encourage. Leave this podcast a positive review. Definitely download and listen. If you like to consume content that way, share this light and insight with someone that you love. And definitely take a look at all of the other readings linked below, all of the links to support UA Light content, and take good care of yourselves.